right, let's get compression started. You need to go faster, Kylie. I think just knowing that you make a difference in people's lives, that's really what we're doing, is we're taking care of people and we're trying to make them better at their most possible worst time there is. And it's kind of rewarding to be able to say, I, I made the difference in somebody's life today. When I went back to school, I decided to come back, I think, because I wanted a career change. And I want to be closer to my family, my grandkids, my kids. I wanted to go back to school to support my kids. Me and my mom actually decided to kind of make a pact together to go into nursing. Kylie and I had talked about it, and I asked her to look into the requirements and what it would take, and so she did all the footwork. In order to join the program, you have to have your CNA certificate, and then you have to have anatomy and physiology and you have to want to care for people. I chose to come to Dixie Tech because I worked in a medical field and I found a huge passion for working with patients there. I'm gonna get patches on. Analyzing heart rhythm. Okay, Kylie. Not touch the patient. Kylie knows what she wants. She wants to be a nurse. This is the direction she's gonna go. And she's worked really hard over the last couple of years to get it to this point. I'm so impressed with Kylie on everything. She's got a huge heart. She's very empathetic. She will do amazing as a nurse, and she's a go-getter when she sets her mind to something. She decided in that year she was gonna go back, and I guess I just kind of took the chance and kind of followed along with her. And now you're gonna push, and, uh, yep, uh, and kind of twist, but don't hold it, you got it. Yep, yep, perfect. Yeah. She's learned a lot from her mom. I can tell that in their work ethics and in a lot of how they react to other people. She's gonna make an amazing nurse. And when I'm done, I wanna go to Utah Tech and get into their bridge program. I'm hoping to work with the hospital here in town at Intermountain Healthcare. I believe the bridge program helps working students transition. So I think that's one of the positives um, in going this route is you will have a license after the 10 months and you can actually go to work while you're doing school and make a, a pretty decent wage. It worked better for my schedule because I am working in the daytime. The schedule for the night classes worked really well with mine. We, we tell them to plan from about 8 to 4.30 Monday through Thursday. My night program has Fridays 5.30 to 9.30 at night. As long as you are a hard worker, you're gonna do great. You kind of have to give up your life for about 10 months, but 10 months isn't very long, but it's so doable, it's so rewardable. And I love here at Dixie Tech because our classes are smaller. I know every one of my students. There's 16 to 20 people in our classes. So that individuality with, as, a, as an instructor to the student, helps a lot with the stress and the rigor of that first year of nursing school. So right now we're doing like body systems. So we're learning about each section of the body and that is for our medical surgical class. And each class goes along with each other. So medical surgical class, pharmacology. There's some gross stuff, but there's, it's mostly a lot of fun. Simulation's a big part of how they learn their skills and how they learn how to do things. I feel like there's a lot of hands-on, and when we were in our clinicals, we always got really good feedback from other nurses and staff. They've been really good students. To be able to teach that to these new nurses and help them become the best nurses they can be, it, it's the best thing ever. I love it. I feel like what I'm going through is going to be beneficial, so if there's something holding you back, then there's always a way around it. And if you need help to reach out to other people for help, because I'm sure there's always someone willing to help you get through to further your education and make yourself a better person.